so I got some tools and obviously we're out here with the kayak um, that right there is the drain plug one of them uh, the other one is over here you can see I already put it in just take and unscrew it it's up and we can let her drain uh, now I put this on the very end uh, on the back here it's fairly flat so uh, it's seated pretty well I still put in a little bit of uh, like caulking compound stuff uh, it's silicone uh, and then it also has a, uh, a thing along with it to help seal it now I used uh, the rivets you can also use screws if you do not have a rivet gun take the next one and obviously this is the side that's damaged um, that I'm going to repair later on. This side here, you can see they kind of worked on it a little bit. They like sanded it down really a lot. Um, but I can't put it right here because it, it's too much of a curve right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right along here. And uh, that way it keeps it close to the end. It'll let as much water out as possible. And uh, so I can tilt it to either side, uh, either front or back. All right, so I've got the piece. I'm going to take and put it probably about right there is what it looks like. Um, I want to make sure that I'm still on a flat. The diameter of the hole here, right here, is roughly 7 eighths of an inch. Uh, I happen to find an old, an old wood bit that works perfectly and since this is plastic it works just fine on that. So let's go ahead and uh, get it in there. All right, so here we go. We've got the uh, piece in there, as you can see, fits right in. I uh, sanded that down a little bit so it was relatively smooth and we didn't have an edge sticking up too high. Now we've got these two holes right here, the openings, and then you can see the black part that's through the hole there. That's just the, uh, that's just the seal that they put in there. So uh, what we're gonna do Go ahead and get this lined up where I want it. Now I have a, um, this a 7 32nd inch finishing bit, but if uh, you don't have like a finishing bit or something that goes to that kind of diameter, you could get down to a, uh, it's a 3 16 inch bit, I think would actually work just fine. I just went with this because I like the way that it cuts the hole a little better. Fits these pop rivets just nicely. You see it slides in there. It's got just a little bit of wiggle room, but not bad. And then you can see here at the back end where it kind of sticks through. Uh, obviously that's going to be set up higher because of the, uh, the plug being in play. Do that. And then like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some, uh, put some of that uh, silicone stuff right around it all right so there we go we've got the uh, stuff in there and then uh, we've got the piece here let's go ahead and fit that in just have to press that all down nice and tight okay just take and slide that on down and it's almost there this does have a little ways because these were long there we go And uh, you can see the end breaks off there. There is the, the ball that's inside there pulled up through the center until it gets to the point where it can't pass through, which is on the other side of this. And then it ends up breaking it off. All right, so there we go. It's all in there. All I do is uh, I want to drain it out. I'll stand it up on end, open up the plug. I can get all that water out of there. We go now on to the next one